Okay, it's, uh, I know it's Monday to most people's Wednesday to us. Uh, so we've got uh, Wednesday afternoon practice this afternoon. Uh, kids have had a good, uh, good week so far. So, you know, excited about uh, getting out there this afternoon. And then tomorrow will be, uh, you know, a Thursday, kind of sharpen everything up for us before getting ready for, for the game Thursday night. So uh, obviously, you know, challenging opponent, SMU's quality football team. Uh, they've had uh, some quality wins so far this year and uh, a couple of tight losses against uh, very good opponents. So uh, big challenge Thursday night. Excited to be back in Dowdy Ficklin Stadium Thursday night. Uh, be exciting to get the, you know, the student body is always, you know, rowdy for these Thursday night games. So really looking forward to, you know, the, the Boneyard rocking uh, Thursday night. And uh, the players are excited about the matchup and be excited to be on the field. So looking forward to it. Questions? Coach, we know SMU over the years really good offensively, but this year, I mean, defensively holding teams to 18 points a game. What have you right. seen on that soccer ball from them? Yeah, just very athletic, all three levels. Uh, up front, you know, they're, they're down four, you know, two really good rushers on the edge. You know, I feel like Forty's been there for five years. I mean, he's, he's just a very disruptive guy inside. But I just think that they have great length, uh, great athleticism, run really well. Um, pro probably the best defense that uh, I've seen them have since we've been playing them. I know this bye week is a little tiny bit shorter, just a couple days with that Thursday game, but do you guys feel pretty good with yourselves coming out of that, just with what you're able to work on and uh, the things you're able to work on yourselves? Yeah, I, th I thought we had a positive week last week. You know, we were able to take and, uh, you know, really focus on uh, certain situations. Uh, and each day we kind of broke it up uh, to, to address the things we wanted to address. And so it was kind of, you know, a little bit SMU last week and then a lot of us last week. And then, you know, over the weekend got fully back into SMU and uh, thought the guys were very energized yesterday afternoon. Uh, and so uh, we feel good, you know, coming out of the bye, getting ready for Thursday night. Coach, how do you kind of go about self-scouting your own team through the bye week? What were some of the biggest things that stood out as you kind of had that week to focus on yourselves? Well, we, you know, we took a look back at, you know, all the games we've played so far. And, you know, obviously, you know, you can look at some areas where we need to play better uh, and really identify those areas and, uh, and scripted out practice to where, you know, we're, we're good on good for those different situations. And so really, you know, when you look at last week's practice all three days, uh, really put we put the kids in competitive situations uh, in doing the things that we need to improve on. And uh, so I thought it was a, a very positive uh, week to come out of and, and got a lot of you know great teachable film from uh, from all the all the things and scenarios we uh, addressed last week. Coach <clears throat> Julius Wood, I mean it's just seems to have taken his, his play to another level this year through five games. What have you seen from him as a senior? Well, I think a uh, driven competitor. You know, he's, if you see him out there, he's got, you know, for a DB, he's got a, an edge and intensity to him that's more like a, you know, inside linebacker. You know, he just, he's, he's a great teammate. Uh, he, he's awesome in our locker room. But when he steps on that field now, he's, I mean, he, he competes at a really, really high level. Um, I think you look at his play on the field and it's it's a reflection of all the work that he puts in on the practice field. You know, we go out there this afternoon, you know, every rep he's in there, I mean, it's 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 gonna be focused, he's gonna be communicating, uh, and he's gonna play wide open. And uh, you know, just those those habits that he's developed over the years in practice has translated into a really solid player. Uh, so excited for him and the way he's playing and hope he continues to play at that level. Uh, what, what are you seeing from SMU's offense and specifically their, their quarterback, Stone? Well, I think he's a really good athlete, runs really well, throws it really well. Um, you know, he doesn't, they don't necessarily try to run him as much as, you know, he's able to use his feet when, you know, things break down in the pocket and he can really hurt you. Um, so I think he does a good job. It's a, it's a, a fast tempo. Uh, you know, we've, 
we faced Garvin Webb earlier this year. I'd say SMU is every bit as fast or faster with how fast they try to snap the football. Um, the, the running back has been dynamic, uh, and you know, I think 13 has been dynamic. They try to get him the ball in a lot of different situations. And then 82, the big tight end, you know, is a, is a, is a great receiving threat. And so I think they have weapons all all across the board and the combination of the, you know, the quarterback's athleticism, all their weapons and the tempo uh, will be challenged Thursday night to slow them down. Coach, you said last week you were going to give some young guys a chance to show what they got, see if they might fit in. Did you have anybody like step up and move into spots they might not have been in before this week? Well, I think, you know, the big thing from last week is you had a chance to, you know, let the kids that are, um, you know, being redshirted to be able to run our offense, run our defense, and let them kind of go at each other a little bit each day. And, uh, you know, one, the the travel team guys, they really get excited watching those young guys get out there and, and play. And uh, then I thought that they, those, the young guys really responded. And, uh, you, you know, back during preseason camp when you try to do that, they still, you know, they're still trying to figure things out, you know, being a college player. And now, you know, you're half a season in, you know, they got their feet a little bit more on the ground. And, you know, like Raheem, you know, those, those, those reps are so valuable for him. And, you know, those young linebackers, those young D linemen, uh, a couple of those young offensive linemen, uh, just really excited about that class and, uh, and, and what they will be one day for the Pirates. You touched on a bit in your opening statement, but Thursday night game, how much does that student section mean to you guys and the players? Because, you know, maybe some families can't get there, but the students should be pretty into it. Well, I think, you know, that that student section down there is kind of the backbone of our, of our program. That's, you know, we, we get a big win at home. It's, you know, the players go straight down there to celebrate with, uh, with the band and the students. And I just, you know, you have recruits and stuff on campus. They always talk about just how energetic our student section is. And so I think it's, uh, you know, we're fortunate to have that kind of support from our student body. Uh, and, you know, these Thursday night games when they're, you know, some of our fans may not be able to make it. Uh, I think that they really, you know, they really bring the energy and make the make the uh, stadium that much more electric, uh, which it should be Thursday night. You know, it's a primetime matchup, a nationally televised game against a really good conference opponent. Uh, they'll be back fresh off fall break, and uh, so they'll be rested up and ready to go. So um, I don't know how much professors are going to get out of them, get out of them on Friday, uh, but uh, it should be a good scene Thursday night.